Trade Good Press for Disney Favors, Black Samurai Fan Fiction, White Savior, Quadruple A, so ask yourself why, get used to not owning what you buy, don't like, don't watch, you filthy bigot, challenge accepted, oh can you dig it? Broken, buggy, awful condition, like a game full of Mary Jane missions. Formulaic, female lead, race swap the Disney stock for woke breed, fetch quest padding, pandering bugs, of course ugly women, minus the jugs, piss poor AI, there's no debate, Metal Gear better in 98, Concord Dustborn beg a chance, has anyone seen the modern audience? Historic loss is just the first lesson, thanks to Black Rock's DEI obsession, everyone's barfing, none are digesting, 100 dollars for beta testing hello beta testers <laughs> Damn! the entities calling themselves games journalists routinely recognize what their cult classes as not enough diversity when the historic failure Concord crashes and burns, suddenly they're aware of saturation in a hero shooter space, even though I guess everybody else just has an excuse. But they would never class the low quality, sensitive, pandering trash somehow lazier than the frequent race and gender swaps as oversaturation. And I think you know why. Like and subscribe to join over 140,000 beta testers. Like and comment if you think Ubisoft does not deserve any money for this picture alone. Here's a phrase that's offensive because what isn't out of my mouth? Three words. Look at this. Look at this. Western modern audience slop is so terrible that it can be summed up with these, what, dismissive, reductive words? This is your sensitivity consultation, and it is visible at a glance. I'll avoid this like the plague. I'll make sure you get none of my money, because it didn't seem to matter before. And I have no business with whether or not it matters now. What a waste of our time. What a hindrance, an obstacle this has been for entertainment, for art, for culture. Ubisoft Star Wars truly matches the acolyte show nobody watched level of quality. Your production value alone is a joke. The charisma vacuum, no range having entity that they chose was a joke. Miss Discourse thought that she wasn't a big enough joke, so spread her cheeks for even more attention with a rap that she apparently wasn't black enough to realize was lacking. Fires in space, force impregnations, lightsabers changing colors. They're well aware this doesn't work. But they have to be as pathetic as a rage-baiting games journalist and pointlessly changing something so that it makes no sense to then Pikachu face when they realize that they needed people to like this. So now after the acolyte entity saying things like, there are more of us only to have less signatures than people wanting Sony to reverse censorship in a Stellar Blade Asian game, you know, the bots have to be called in. Because you wouldn't be relevant enough otherwise. I've long referred to Woke as the messed up wheel on a shopping cart, and now the ignorance and ugly worship has made its vandalization discernible at a glance because it doesn't matter to the people making it. So why should it matter enough to us to pay for it? Fake activists masquerading as games journalists, including but not limited to Forbes, Paul Tassie are desperately trying to diminish the fact that woke is what infected all of media at a time where fat vitiligo and albino they them propaganda games funded by the government can be released and almost fit right in with garbage like the Concord failure and to emphasize how out of touch all of these games journalists are in their surprise if you were to go back months into the trailers for these videos you'd see just how vocal and specific the gamers were in articulating their issue. Mr. Refuses to mention Sweet Baby Inc. because none of them can report on it honestly is ignoring the fact that we are in a time where fat vitiligo and albino they them propaganda games can slide right on out and not even be that crazy considering how sensitive the games have become. 
It must not be understated that Concord's failure and universal rejection by players is a catastrophic disaster, proportion so legendary it unlocked Hayabusa in failing. How many languages do you think I've seen the robot has pronouns in? Fat, black, pierced nose, blue lipstick, clown show. Old ladies, wasted money on animations in an upcoming anthology episode, free to play imminent as if that'll save it, interviews from months ago where the developers in an interview forget they're supposed to be talking to gamers, not pitching to investors. Before you're even halfway through the video, they've said the word IP over five times. For the out-of-touch racist defending whipcracker Paul Tassie of Forbes to downplay the woke as he carries water for the cult, claiming only the right believes that woke has seized their media, okay journalist. Being willfully ignorant and accepting the hand as deep as you can receive it is one thing, but is this stupid bait the rest of your life? Literal teenaged VTubers, a third your age with hundreds multiple your audience, have a more nuanced perspective than the one your master has passed down to you, Forbes journalist. We recognize you're likely not allowed to tell the truth in your arched back beckoning for any attention you can stir up, but I thank people for taking the opportunity to correct you. They outnumber you, and they're not exhausted because they're not seething or coping over the idea that pretty women obviously brought players to First Ascendant, the game that you can't keep out of your mouth even though you're likening a swimsuit to nudity. It's brain damage, and it's apparently quite typical among the activists calling themselves games journalists. Transgender editor-in-chief of The Gamer says, how dare you modify a game to make a character pretty, a game you own? How dare a grown woman choose to have fun when Born with a Cock and Balls is busy mansplaining away femme fatales because they don't like that and that's a, b a product of a bygone era like digital foundry might say my god man you know nobody's trying to take your filters or your animated little cartoons you use to represent yourself away what's your fucking problem you people love concord and obviously players hate it and if anyone disagrees they must be a racist sexist foe but they call a pretty woman problematic and problematic by your definition is what put games like gta and mortal kombat on the map they didn't get there by kissing you tenderly and telling you that you know whatever your delusion is uh you know reality and they'll just nod, nod and go ahead with it you know new school developers are worried about uh, putting animals in the game and making it so that you can pet them because the game has to be sanitized sterilized saints row reboot get your studio shut down dead things in the dead thing that's a fucking line and star wars outlaw so many dead things in this dead thing <laughs> This sweet baby ink level of writing by old, lonely ladies trying their best to self-insert themselves because, ooh, that's what it's all about. Me. That's how they think. Pad the game with farming and fetch quests, barren, empty nothingness, piss poor AI, and Ubisoft so drunk on pandering that you're paying bots, shills, and pander specialists to help you reinforce how awful this is. I don't have to see the sales. Whatever it drops to is significantly less than what they were hoping for, as made abundantly clear by the shifty, scared, and capable of committing responses when shareholders ask, does ambition translate to game sales? The answer is no. Early access buyers, the biggest beta testers of all, were forced to restart their game following a patch to fix the game-breaking bugs they acknowledge they launched the game with. Shills will say, all games have bugs. Game-breaking bugs that require a patch after release that forces you to reset your progress? If you say so, dumbass. Seems like the money was going everywhere but where it needed to. The game. Diversity and inclusion to them means ugly. Inclusion means exclusion. Up means down, woman means man, 
Corporate mandates reinforce the formulaic repulsive slop that will push people away more than this absurd pricing model or anything that you can slap on the table. This is the cover. People judge by the cover. You're trying with your psychologist to trick people into seeing this high number and then buying into your subscription service. 20 bucks and you can have a collection. So what if they're not all that great? You know, pay to rent, <laughs> apparently. One heterosexual man, one AI, could appeal better to the majority demographic than the entities currently frequently missing the mark. It is one thing to tick the boxes for funding. No one told these entities to take it this far. My analogy still stands, beta tester. You're in an arcade. The coins you spend dictate which machines stay and which cabinets go. Concord. Dustborn, Sushi Squad, Saints Row Reboot, Redfall, Starfield, Gotham Knights, Insomniacs, Marvel's Mary Jane, and Miles Morales Walking Simulator. Imminently Star Wars Outlaws and Assassin's Creed Shadows will give us some juicy numbers. It feels like we're the better feminists because we have the self-awareness to see that this is having a harmful effect. A racism reinforcing effect. But they don't have to take our word for it. They'll be out of money soon. And I congratulate you on voting with your wallet. Like the video, comment to drive it up the algorithm. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you to the patrons and sponsors. Here's hoping we can have the most fun that we've had so far on this channel. My TV recently broke, like a backlight nonsense. So I'm going to replace it. And then I'm going to play a bunch of Vampire Survivors. So. Whatever you want to come say, go ahead and make it all about you.